I can take him. I don't think so. One bullet. I should probably save that. <laughs> oh yeah, great. Come on! Whoa. I think he's stuck. Lost him. I think we can make it through here, Al. Oops. now. And of course, we got the truck floating in the background. the hell? How did you get back there so quick, Barry? What the hell? Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. The door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. I'm not... exactly sure... what I'm focusing on in here. I'm good, Barry. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? Look how high up this goes. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. 
Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Lord. I wasn't gonna say anything. I, I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. The police are obviously quite busy. This should do it. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. What I'd really like to do right now is find a shotgun instead of this rifle. Because I have so much. What? Got to be kidding me. If I can, if Barry comes out here with these things, can he then help me? So, I can't complain. Hmm. Oh. I didn't actually expect that to be open. This is what they call the seizure room. Let's go, man. We, I just, I just, I don't want to be on this farm anymore. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. So. Ah! Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. I like how he didn't object. I lumped him in with the crazies. You want to switch sides now? Come on, one more game. Let's do this thing. The 
Let's see if there's anything around back. I'm just waiting to shine a light into one of these windows at these old houses and see somebody just walk by. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything weird happening outside, so let's head in. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. <laughs> I think I like a stage the power inside too. was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay, well, where's that exactly? Upstairs? Barry. Barry. Thank you. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the boobies. Old house. gods yeah. know the truth. I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding. And those guys sound awesome. And our helper is saying that they know what's going on. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Here we go. where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right, must be. Oh, right, we saw like the CW plus TZ, I believe it was. And that's Cynthia I Weaver. find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. <laughs> Come on, Barry, this is... Yeah, what the hell. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, <laughs> and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain this is their moonshine. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay.
well, wait a second. Are we... Whoa. Help! Help! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. What? This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have Alice? never turned the Alice. lights off. This is crazy. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? What? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. What? The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Jesus! No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old.
I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Ah, uh, cool. Okay, so now we've kind of filled in some of the gaps in the story. And Nightingale there, he's got us, but he doesn't kill us. We know that. He has to settle for the arrest. We don't know why he decides not to kill us, but it happens. Woo! Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I, it's just such an old game, and it's... I'm not... I mean, honestly, there's not a ton of people watching it, but I'm having a ton of fun with it, and I hope you guys are too, and that's what's important. There's a lot of other games going on on the channel right now, like a lot, but, uh, fear not. We'll get through all of them, and it's gonna be a super time. See you guys next time, bye.